I want everyone to become the powerful beings that they are. If we all step up and become the leaders of our own reality and create our own reality and not need someone outside of ourselves, we're no longer searching for something to fill those gaps. That means no one can control us anymore because we're all saying we all deserve, right? Mm -hmm. And we can create a world of absolute magnificence and beauty from all the wisdom that we have logically and intuitively, Mm. yeah, and connection. Mm. Yeah, and when we understand that we're the creators, we don't need to take, right? We don't need other people to create things that we can take from them, like all this physical money and stuff. We can just create what we want. Hello and welcome. My name's Campbell. This is Spiral Up. Thank you for joining us. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And today we have Bobby Richardson with us or Bobby the Messenger. Uh, and she has, that's the name of her YouTube channel. So we'll leave a link below. And um, yeah, we've had a, a chat before on Tartaria Australia, but this is our first um, one-on-one chat. So welcome, Bobby. Thank you very much for having me. Really glad to be here. Yeah, yeah, I actually just got a message from someone who follows you on Tartaria and said, when are you going to do something more with Campbell? So that was really interesting. (laughs) (laughs) Just yesterday, I'm like, well, actually. (laughs) (laughs) Always the right time. I get that a lot too, actually. You should talk to this person. I'm like, yeah, that's that's tomorrow or that's, you know, next week. So um, they, they always seem to happen at the right time, don't they? That's it's, it's yeah, divine like timing, so to speak. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. And I mean that that's probably a good segue into um you know a question, right? Timing. Um a bit going on in the mm. world. Um, you know, and obviously two years, and a lot of people have been talking about February, March, and here we are, halfway through February, and wow, I mean and look what's happening. Just, happened right look how much the consciousness of humanity is starting to to take up you know form and and stand up in sovereignty for themselves now like that's one wave of energy that's come um to support humanity's consciousness becoming more aware of itself and can you imagine what's coming next after that and further down the road uh, you know this is getting exciting because we're starting to realize what we're where we've given our power away to and um and the story behind all that as well will come out too so that's exciting it's very exciting and they've even um some msn outlets are literally coming out and saying well it was pretty much all a scam it never existed and all this stuff and and um canada um their police chief you know the guy who was threatening to send the army in he just um quit his job and it, because none of none of the police officers are listening to him, he's saying go out and arrest these people, and they're literally going out and just sitting in their cars for eight hours, and then going back and doing and doing nothing. So um, they're scared, and, and this is, you know, we're at this point, right? And what happens? Oh, war in you know the Ukraine, war in Korea. Oh my God, this is happening. Oh my God, this. You know, they 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 try and put their fear factor over the top of okay, it. Mm. something else. Yeah, sorry. No, no, you're and that, right. And that's how they've always played the game is that they tried to put their focus in on something else so that we're, you know, stuck in a loop, perpetual loop of fear. And then we're starting to see that pattern so clearly now just from the last couple of years and how they played this game. They literally pushed humanity into awakening rather than thinking that they could expand their one one you know, where I was going to go. I don't really want to say those words in case, you know, it makes uh, this video less than, but we all know where we're going with that. Um, Yeah, but I did get a strong message. Uh, This would have been eight, probably eight, nine years ago of... um, a uh, craft landing this was all this is one of those very vivid dreams that you just you just do not ignore um a craft landed these etheric beings came out they were vivid blue beings very tall they looked like um 
beings from the knowing, um, a movie called The Knowing, but they were vivid, vivid blue. Is that the one uh, with, with Nicolas Cage in the knowing? Yeah, Nicolas Cage, yeah, yeah. And at the end, it's yeah. like children, right? So they came, they morphed in, into a rainbow sphere and, and then they uh, wanted to morph into a humanoid, but they did it in such a manner by lying down beside me so that I wasn't afraid of them because they knew that there was fear vibration coming from Earth. Um, and they told me straight up, then the governments will fall. Um, so I've known from back then that this leadership and the rain, the like the the um, the way that this program has been re- relayed to humanity and enforced is going to break down. Their empire is falling, and it's conducent to the other messages that I got from other beings that um, we are now coming into balance with ourselves. So it. Up till then, in the last eons of thousands of whatever eons, we'll just say eons, up till then, <laughs> um, they, they, um, the, the energy was conducent to only our, our logical thought system being ruling everything, even our right hemisphere, which is our feminine side of ourselves, which is an intuitive, imaginative and soul connection. Without that, the logical brain had to look outside itself to be competing with that and then asked for someone to take leadership. And these beings came and said they were completely in sync with the energy of the logical brain being um, like consumerism, um, in other words, creating from grabbing from the past, projecting in the future, or even creating from a broken down home and creating another home and all of that is to do with grabbing something that's already been breaking it down and and there's nothing wrong with creating like that at all but um, there's another way that had to be shut down and that's creating from our imagination and our soul link to all of the past lives that we've had and then creating through that that imagining that we also have within ourselves so we had to look outside ourselves and in looking outside ourselves, we ended up grasping for anyone that was conducive to that energy. They put up their hands. They knew how to deal with all of that side, you know, the living on earth, not with earth, not with Gaia and so forth. And then they showed us the next path of their, their reality. But that was just so we could learn all about that. Now it's shifting and it's only just shifted like a year or so ago. So the very first step into bringing in our imaginative, intuitive right right hemisphere, uh, our feminine side starting to power up. um, And that means that the balance will start to come into play with masculine and feminine. No one's better than anyone else. We all come from love. It's, it's just a conducent collaboration of realizing there's different ways to create reality. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then like you, you seek truth of the past and all of that starts to filter through and then new, new things can be created, completely new things can be created as we step into that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's where we are now. Like so many people, you know, they're going through this, um you know do i hold on to the past and hope <laughs> hope it comes back you know all these jobs and mortgages and how ha- you know like like we used to live right um you know used to because it's definitely that's 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 another time now um but people are trying to grab onto it and all this change um you know people out there protesting and they're like yeah let's have new elections and i'm like what are you talking about so so you know th- there's this whole thing of <laughs> You know, people still want to create from the past, don't they? Well, that's all they know how to do. You know, all they've got is, yeah. like you say, they've been trained in their left brain. So to create, it's like you look around outside of you and get your inspiration from there. But clearly where yeah. we need to go to create something new that hasn't been here before, which is what we all want, um, we, we can't create from the old, right? We've got to start um, projecting forward from the imagination or whatever you want to call it, the mind, the, the source and and go that way and mm. i see this a lot right now is this i think that's where we are you know people are sort of um you know it's like you see people in relationships who have a lot of relationships and they kind of when it's breaking down they kind of 
they find someone new while they're still holding on to the old person and they jump across, you know, like they can't be like, and it's a lot of people I think are like that at the moment. They're holding and on. The same wanting, story. Yeah. It comes up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. Right. Then they find themselves in the same situation. And, um, and yeah, so I think it's about trust, right? People need to just trust, trust, trust that it's going to be mm. all right. You know, and the, the energy at the moment is conducive for us to be able to, to clear all of those little, little blockages. We're completely smack bang in front of ourselves with everything that comes up, whether it be some other relationship come in and it shift real quickly and you're left gutted and, you, and, and then you start to see, the vulnerability that you had within yourself that you weren't supporting in yourself from that from that past relationship right so that relationship taught you just that let it go and then move into supporting who you are so that the next relationship that comes in you have supported that part of yourself it won't repeat um it's all to it's all to do with uh supporting our uh really our feminine side of ourselves uh, which is the intuitive imaginative side of ourselves. Uh, and there's all uh, the first wave will be the light workers that came here specifically for this moment just to really help shift um, humanity through burst through the bubble of the illusion. So we humanity would have put out a call and that call would have been we're over the loop we're over doing war after war after war and, and doing the same stuff we we know we feel there's something else out there they put out a call and then that vibration got sent out to specific um planetary places vibrations whatever you want to call it that Gaia could be in sync with because she has to be able to handle the vibration as well that comes here um, and then people would have said, there's a call coming from humanity, sorry, souls and other planets. There's a call coming from humanity. Who wants to go on a mission? Put up your hand. <laughs> so sucker us. Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so quite a few of us threw up and went, yeah, yeah, okay, we will go down there. That sounds freaking exciting. Let's go do that. And I can literally remember being born <laughs> been born into this world of I'm so excited to find out more about this stuff and and feeling my energy drop so low that all of a sudden I backpedaled and went I don't know if I want to do this and got born with the umbilical cord wrapped around my throat so I'm like, <laughs> like the energy just went I, I literally remembered it when I was diving in the ocean one day and uh, they said there's these big massive group of fish that are out there that you can spot and I saw one in the distance so I'm like I'm so excited to go up and pat this thing because they're friendly right yeah. but as I started getting closer this thing had this giant juju lips that were so huge it could almost suck me into its mouth and it was massive and I'm like oh I don't know about this mm -hmm. but my flippers were already you know had the 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 vibrate the like the momentum happening so I'm like backpedaling like this and it just brought back all these memories of being <laughs> yeah so what so what happens is <laughs> we've fallen so low we had to lose ourselves we had to go into families light workers had to go into families that really pulled our energy under and we lost um a lot of our um vibrate our love vibration for ourselves in that and that was meant to happen so that we could feel their vibration because if we didn't feel their vibration and how stuck they were, how could we go back into the maze if we couldn't get ourselves out first? So it was a really, a really amazing journey for a light worker to be born here in this present time to get, they didn't go as, da as dark as what humanity did, lots of them, but it, for them it was massive. So um now we are starting to come up and that's what a lot of my uh the people that I do intuitive counseling for I notice nearly all of them I'm awakening gifts in them to be able to spark them into realizing what they've come from because my journey in itself has been uh guided by my soul tribe my guides and my connection to my soul um, telling, showing me all these different gifts that humanity has. And it's like they bring up one little gift and then it disappears and then another gift. So I've had a, I've had trials. I've, I've actually literally could say 100% I've been telepathic 
and literal and 100% I've been telekinetic. Literal 100% that I've seen the uh, Alvin world, the etheric world that goes between plants and humanity, bring them in. 100% that I've had visitations from UFOs and other, other beings. So I've had like snippets of all these things all the way through so that in this time, when I do this intuitive counseling, I can pick up on, on the people's gifts and stuff and start to bring them through into that, that gift again. The first gift that uh, light workers are going to start feeling is telepathy because that is connection to the intuitive to their soul and then and that's the universal language of everything that resides on earth so everything alive that's that's living on earth has the molecule dmt within it and we have that same molecule within humanity that's produced by the pineal gland we can link up with anything that's out there and not just gain the outside scientific um, messages from each each animal, plant, life, and everything by chopping it up like a science does, and only to that tube, so to speak, literally feel into the message that the frog or the bird wants to gift us. And you can't get that from chopping the thing up. You can only get that by intuitively being telepathically linked in with them. And so there's so many gifts that humanity are going to, it's just going to expand our world no end um, from all this other information that's going to come to us when we awaken our right hemisphere of our brain. Yeah, yeah. I find it interesting that the whole computer uh, revolution is kind of getting us ready for this, isn't it? You know, you can kind of look mm -hmm. at it as, you know, oh, they're, they're, you know, everyone's starting to sell their bad, you know, they're spying on us, you know, metaverse, all this kind of stuff. But but, you know, that's given us the, the concepts of being able to speak to someone anywhere, you know, in the world instantly um, and all these different things. Um, yeah. You know, we're literally, I think it's, it's sort yes. of, uh, you know, learning tool, right? Um, and also just, you mentioned your birth. Um, what do you think about um, premature birth? Because I think, I think I was a little bit early, but my, my second son, my baby boy, he's, um, he was... 11 weeks early like um he was born just after six uh, months pretty much he like fit in my hand so um yeah like what do you is, is that what what's that is that people like spirits just too eager to get in here or what, what is it, yeah do you see anything with that i think with each one of them it's different it depends on the soul and what the mission like the energy that they're coming through and um it could be that they yeah we're bursting to come out and they wanted wanted to just experience and there i but then there could also be um the challenge that comes with premature birthing that the soul wanted to feel into that challenge and also gift the parents a um a feeling of of really feeling that vulnerable that the parents have even stronger connection to them there's all sorts of different reasons why coming from a physical side of it right through to that yeah. um, soul learning a lesson and, and linking with their parents. Um, maybe that soul wanted to link with the dad more than the mum and so it prematurely gets birth so that you, you the father can have more of a connection to it. There's all sorts of different reasons why I couldn't like. Yeah, yeah. I, I suppose... Yeah. I'm tapping into a little bit there. That could be a reason why you have. <laughs> but well, I wasn't expecting to tap no, into no. your... <laughs> yeah. no, people, no, I always but think... No, that's it, okay. We can do that. Is it with... Yeah. Um, it is, uh, that's obviously when, you, when you're born, that's your, you know, astrology chart, right? That That's sort of the, you know, you're born under certain signs. That, so if you're born you know, premature, you're, you're born as a completely different person, really, right? So that's what that's what I always think about is yeah, at some point it must it must have been pre-planned. Um, yeah, you know, because I believe, yeah, I believe that when we would, down here we choose know. you know yeah what energies we're under and all this so yeah. that we get certain you know traits and all that kind of stuff. And how much we can handle as well. Um, we might look at that vulnerable little baby, and it's already it's it's fine. It's like I'm thriving, I'm fine. I'm, yeah. You don't really know exactly, even when someone's in pain, and that exactly how bad that pain is, or how they can deal with it, or what they're learning from it, or 
you know, we we think that we have empathy for other people and what they're experiencing, which is absolutely well and truly well and good. Obviously, we need to have empathy, um, but also at the uh, with the wisdom that that person might be going through a certain thing for a certain reason and for a good lesson for their soul to expand. Mm. So that's important to recognize that as well. Mm, definitely. So the people coming in, that obviously, you know, um, like the waves of uh, you know, light workers or whatever we want to put up, that sort of comes from Dolores Cannon, um, you know, from her regression work. So is that is that what you? Because clearly, a lot of us. Uh, I, oh, you don't know Dolores Cannon. I I know her, but I've not looked at any of her right. work. She, so um, I've only know that she's done hypnotherapy, and that's yeah. about as much as I know. I know she was on the Mike Moore show that I was on, but I think I looked at about five minutes of one of her videos, and yeah. went, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah." She started <laughs> and then went on the back in the oh gosh, um, eighties, I think it was, or probably earlier. I don't know. Um, but when she was regressing people, she, um, she, all these people started saying the same thing over and over, like, we're here, you know, we're the, I'm part of the first wave, we've come in to, you know, raise the vibration and all this. And and um, and she sort of um, also introduced, like, the NPC sort of topic, you know, these, but she called them background people, that there's all these, um, you know, um, not, you know, people that we see as people down here that aren't actual people they just sort of um background projections or something um no that's interesting yeah how do you see, how do you see that could uh, be seen as, i i see it there's like uh they showed me they've shown me my reality in in all in different perspectives um so there was one point where they showed me my reality is like a bubble and so my reality would only reach as far as my consciousness could see um, and experience in sight, hearing, feeling, smelling, everything. That's it. That's as, that's as far as reality goes. It literally didn't go any further. And then, um, and then they'd show me another person with their bubble. And that's God's source energy learning through their bubble of their creation and what they're experiencing some of the frog and everything and then sometimes you'd merge bubbles right and when you merge bubbles then you're sharing vibration um so background people would be for me somebody that's kind of like watching a movie and you see that background person that's walking past you might notice them for a second but it doesn't really affect your reality much at all mm. um, but that's kind of just there just like when you walk down the street and I know you probably had this as well where you've seen certain people like 10 years ago and then a couple of years later they're not the same person but it just reminds you of them they're so similar you almost think that uh, uh background people repeating themselves mm. <laughs> in my reality because you're the one that's conducently creating it and you're the one that allows certain vibrations to come and go um so there's all there's different ways of looking at our reality though that's all different ways that's one way if you come at it from source energy we're like a, a string that's um that's traveling through uh, a, a vortex that's a torus like a donut shape and going on an exploratory journey away from our love of ourselves and then coming back and then you know there's just all sorts of ways if you saw a human's perspective through the eyes of a frog or a snail it's completely different see so we we've got to remember there's just trillions of different life forms just on earth itself let alone out in space um, and so there's a lot of different perspectives of reality. Uh, is one of them truth? No, they're all truth. They're all experiences. And so truth just becomes experience. That's all it is. And it's all relevant to the person that's going on the journey to explore that. And, it's, mm. and that in itself should never be judged because that person wanted to do say or do something different which this then expands us into our imagination and allows us to experience totally new things. Our imagination has been put into hostage. We've been literally held in hostage by the program and used by those that are in charge of us 
um, in those in the last uh, phase that we've just gone through, just so that they can stay at the top of the pyramid, which they were supposed to do. Um, but now bringing our imagination back can create a whole other existence, whole other worlds. Mm. Um, we could expand into to way more because humans consciousness um, can use both consumer creation and etheric creation and combine them both to create a brand new world that's conducent with earth with um, communicating with Gaia and saying well if I want to plonk my house that I want to build and chop down this tree and put my house here now instead of just doing it without blazingly asking earth or feeling into her or you know we can literally ask her do you mind if I do this and the tree and its feeling of whether it wants to become a house and all that it and it will be gifted to you. And then um, and then Gaia herself and her energy will clear the animals so that they don't get hurt or the ones that need to get hurt will get hurt. You know, it's, it's a collaboration of energies rather than enforcing my consumerism onto you, mm. um, which is what we've come from. So we're becoming more humane, which is in our name, human. human yeah, I know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of man yeah um so i mean yeah we, I, I agree we all live in our own you know, little, they tell us right he's in his own little world we're all in our own bubble right our, our perspective i guess is what it is um and with and, and this is the thing with what's going on i mean are we talking about npcs or other beings we don't know but do you think do you think everyone's going to wake up or do you think that that because dolores cannon also talks about the split um, you know, about to um, like creating a new earth, literally, um, where the higher vibration people go and then, you know, this this one stays here. And, and so all the people who want, you know, who are vibrating with it. Do you see something like that happening? Mm -hmm. The information that I'm receiving is that that split is a genuine perception of reality that can happen because others some people some souls aren't ready to come mm. but we are literally moment by moment at the moment creating something new and nobody exactly knows how that's going to work so we could literally we could end up waking up way more than what we thought mm. i was told two-thirds to one-third that would be woken up but I don't, I'm like letting that go now again, because that's what I constantly get told to do whenever they give me messages, clean the canvas, because the energy shifts, and then you don't want to be holding on to something that brought you to the step, which gave you clarity of, of, of where I'm at right now, but not conducent to me me expanding my step mm. to the next level up see so uh i will blank the canvas and that's when you were talking i was prepared to say straight off the bat what i usually say two thirds to one third and then i just got this message reality shifting you're creating it as you're going so i'm mm. like okay i have to bring that up now mm. um we don't know exactly where everything's going to go. And that in itself, the unknown, is the, is the leap of faith into, into knowing that our soul is the observe, as the observer of ourselves only wants the best for us and will only bring us to the best end result. It's our logical brain that hangs on to, but what ifs? It literally has a problem that happens in our past, holds onto that story so tight because it's scared that if it comes up again, it won't recognize it. So it holds onto it so that we remember it to recognize it so we can get out and it's to safety, right? Mm -hmm. And in doing so, we have focused on that and brought it back to ourselves. So that's all the old program because the left logical side of ourselves does not know how to create. It literally doesn't know how to create the next step. Mm. And that's been proven by Dr. Ramachandran, who did studies on both of the of the brain. My guides led me to, to him and Jill Bolt Taylor. So if you want to look those people up, Dr. Ramachandra and Jill Bolt Taylor. So first of all, he did a study on someone who had the um, right hemisphere, uh, sorry, 
yeah, the right hemisphere that went down. So there's only the left hemisphere left. That meant that their hand was disabled when he went into the hospital to see them. And it just happened. He said to them, how's your hand? But because it was the left hemisphere left and it can't shift reality before the stroke happened, the hand was still fine. So they don't understand now that their hand is disabled. That to, even to the point where they tell themselves it's not their hand, they just cannot understand it. Um, and then when we go to Jill Bolt Taylor, she was a neurologist. She had an experience where her left hemisphere went down. So she had a right hemisphere there. And she said when she was feeling into it, she saw a hand disappear into the wall. The wall became a hand. She became expansive. And as everything, she was everything that was around her was her as well. So that meant that the right hemisphere is connecting us to everything. And that's why we, we will be able to communicate with everything through our intuition and our communication of telepathy. Um, but the left logical hemisphere is only here for what it's just as vital. It's half your brain, right? You won't want to belittle it either, but it's here to bring us into a lineal story so that source energy can create separation and actually have a story to, to, um, to be able to rub against. Like I can meet you and you're not part of me now. So that means that I can say hi to you and see you as a separate entity and then learn from you. So same with everything else. The logical brain brings us into separation so we can create an adventure, an awesome adventure. Mm. Yeah, I mean, and that goes back, I guess, to the creation. You know, how do we get here? Like there's that the, the theme of, you know, there was just one and it couldn't experience anything, right? So it had to fracture so and itself into many pieces so it could experience, you know, things, anything, right? Interact with itself. Which and this is the whole thing, right? Yeah. We're, we're all one, yeah. you know. Fractally, we all come from the same source. Um, and it all starts with love. It is just love. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. that means your logical brain is just as vitally important, and you should love that just as much as your intuitive brain. Both sides, and it was an imbalance in humanity not understanding both sides of themselves that was fighting and brought them into a warring situation, which in reflection brought a warring situation in their reality. Hence, we've gone through all these wars through the imbalance of ourselves. But when we start to un unite back into allowing the power of the feminine to rise just as equal as the uh, masculine side and, and both being part of the creation of the next step, we won't be, war we won't be warring. So we're stepping into what they would call, I suppose, um, the stories lots of people bring in the fifth dimension, sixth, seventh, eighth, whatever one you want to choose, the, the different perceptions of the different perceptions of experiences. Um, so the higher reality you go up, like fifth dimension, you, you're at a different perception. Six dimension is a different perception again, and so forth. So you could choose. Do you, do you see it as? You want to have a perception. Yeah. So are they all here? Like, like all these different um, dimensions? Are they perceptions. The everything, physical space? Everything is. Yes, everything resides at the same time. It's whether um, our consciousness can tap into it and explore that. If we are coming from unbalanced, we can only explore up to this lineal state of awareness, which means you wake up in the morning and you do your work and it's all physical and then you go to sleep. <laughs> um, but we're stepping now into uh, into allowing intuitive side to come back in, which means everything expands that means we're bringing in all these different perceptive awarenesses of ourselves and be able to create a totally different story and because we're connected to our soul we will only be taken to what makes us feel glorious or beautiful or what you know um and and stepping into an awesome place mm. yeah yeah it's yeah it's the, the, i just say it at the moment there's such a big um well shift right at the moment but um what i'm seeing is you know i, I call it the mr smith complex right have you seen the um the matrix when neo's walking down the street and then everyone around him turns into you know the agent right 
And he says, um, you know, and then uh, Morpheus says, see, you got to be careful because everyone's, you know, an agent. Um, and at the moment, there's all these, it, it's really bizarre. All these people are suddenly, that seemed quite normal, are suddenly out there ranting and raving and everyone's a shill and they're, 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 all their focus has gone on to trying to bring down other people and their beliefs and they're wrong and I'm right and all this, all this weird stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. Is, is that just... They're all coming from their own lap within themselves though. And if you're a mix in, in amongst that, then you have to look at what you're lacking within yourself. Why aren't you supporting? So mm. if, so they're just, they're just projecting onto somebody else what they're not supporting within themselves. As soon as we start and take back our support of who we are, we're no longer looking outside ourselves for someone to feel that. And that means that if they walk, if they come into your reality and then they walk away, uh, whether it's good, bad, and different, if you haven't supported that part of yourself, then you'll feel a big hole within yourself and you'll start projecting outward to try to reach that back again. And you grasp and you start getting angry with people for not being there and trying to turn them into and control them into what you want because it's this energy right now here is literally asking us to come back home. I mean, even, even within my own right, um, I've gone through something recently and I went to explain it to the one person that I thought I could explain it to and they just went, stop, I don't want to know about it. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so I went into my into my room and I bawled my eyes out and then I realised spirit's bringing me back to myself to acknowledge what I'm not accepting in myself and what aren't I supporting that part that that thing that I wanted to tell that person I was not supporting if I reached out for them to be the one that's going to save my day then it still has it still leaves me with a hole when they leave um it's more important right here right now to turn everything back into what am I supporting we're talking physically what are you feeling about your body are you physically supporting that you are you physically are you supporting the um your intuitive side, your imaginative side, are you supporting the logic of yourself as well? Because it's all needing to be supported, your spirit, heart, everything. Um, and then anyone can come to us then with their hoo-ha and you just go, mm, water off a duck's back, doesn't really matter, whatever, that's your reality. Um, <laughs> and you don't give them any energy, which leaves them with the same hole that they still need to cope with bring, filling up themselves. That's lifting us into higher frequencies because we're no longer searching outside ourselves for something to be filled, which is what we've just come from, right? And that's why we ended up with a leadership, with the governments and everything telling us what to do because we didn't take responsibility for our own sovereign right of existing on this planet right here, right now. Yeah. 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 So you say it much better than I do. I just... I just say everything's your fault. <laughs> Pardon? I just oh, yeah, it's your fault. Everything's your fault. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> it's your fault and then you turn the, turn the finger back on you exactly. and go, oh, shite. That's <laughs> yeah. one of the first time that ever happened. Years and years ago, I was with a, 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 a holistic counsellor, uh, Caroline Bird. She's a lovely person. And she, she taught me, she said, Everything to do with your ex-husband, I just want you to pour out everything that you dislike about him and just throw it on this. But don't, don't hold back because I'm pretty conservative with myself and not wanting to be mean. <laughs> um, I just wrote it all out, you know. Biggest thing that it said was uh, he never supports my artwork and never supports who I am and my feminine state that, my, that I see things. He never supports. And then I realised that when I turned it around because she said, Make all of his name your name. And I turned it around and went, uh, it's true. I, my self-talk, my self-talk was I'm not good enough from my past, from when I was a kid. So that's we've got to really start to change our self-talk on who we are. Become, we want to all become, I want everyone to become the powerful beings that they are. If we all step up and become the leaders of our own reality and create our own reality and not need someone outside of ourselves, we're no longer searching for something to fill those gaps. That means no one can control us anymore because we're all saying we all deserve, right? Mm -hmm. And we can create a world of absolute magnitude magnificence and beauty from all the wisdom that we have logically and intuitively mm. yeah 
and connection. Mm, yeah, and when we understand that we're the creators, we don't need to take, right? We don't need other people to create things that we can take from them, like all this physical money and stuff. We can just create what we want. So it's it sort of gets rid of a lot of, you know, it's a massive, I mean, yeah. it's a massive change because we, we don't even know what a world like that is, really, when no. people are actually responsible. Oh, that's life. right. But it happens because you start to change it on the inside, right? Mm. I, I did exactly the same thing with money. Um, that was something that I had trouble with. And uh, they told me it's all to do with self-support. Like the more you support yourself abundantly and knowing that the universe will supply, the more that the universe can gift. So mm. the first step that my guides were telling me was, well, are you ready to receive? Are you ready to actually accept? And I didn't realise I couldn't accept because they said, imagine all the work that you've done, because I've done a lot of work for free with all the videos, 200, over 200 videos just for free. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just went, well, if that's the case, I would see my my a treasure chest full of gold, right, just spilling over. Um, and, yeah, anyway, my guide said, well, if that's the case, it's already there. It's in the ether waiting for you to grab hold of. So then the next partner that I had, which was only for a month and a half, was extremely wealthy. And then he takes me shopping, says, you can buy whatever you like. And I'm going into each shop and I come out with nothing. <laughs> we, we, we started off with buy these $200 pair of shoes to jeans to a candle. I couldn't even take a candle. It's so sad. So I'm like, yeah, okay, I have a problem of accepting. And then the next step is um, I was still in a job that wasn't giving me the, the money that I appreciated and I said to my I said to my I actually got angry this day I'm like that's it I've had enough I want everything that I want my treasure chest <laughs> I am over this I deserve and they're like okay we will give you something but you know backsies if it's done in with integrity I said that's fine but they said no backsies you're not allowed to say you know that's too much or nothing okay okay I'm fine I'm gonna receive I put my hand out I'm receiving Three days later, a very dear friend of mine that was, I only just met over, over Zoom links and stuff like that, but he's, he's uh, uh, got a beautiful family in, um, oh, in um, USA. I won't say exactly where, um, in USA. And uh, he just randomly, like through a few days later, he just sends me a message and said, there's, uh, there's um, some money for you in your PayPal account. And um, I looked in and that first message that popped up said, learn to receive. That's what he wrote on it, learn to receive. <laughs> and it was $1,000 in my account for nothing. So wow. <laughs> I'm like, I can't, I'm not allowed to say backsies now. I'm not allowed to say it's too much. I'm not allowed. <laughs> it was hard. It was so hard. And I realized just how much I had not allowed for abundance then I then I got just randomly led after I said I'm ready to 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 be speaking out more now and channeling more for more people. I got led to Kevin Moore, who I didn't even know was somebody who was fairly famous in the, in the retrospect of interviewing people. I had no idea who he was. Mm. I sent him a message. He believes somebody else sent him that message. <laughs> who knows? Something in between <laughs> happened there. <laughs> and then a few days later, I'm, I'm on his show, and, and I've had thousands of dollars worth of money just pouring in the last few weeks. So it's like this is what I mean by we're taking back the, you know, I needed to say that so that people realise people are actually doing this work and it's working. You know, we are taking back a um, supporting of ourself and the universe will supply. We have to have that faith and leap of trust to jump off the cliff and, yeah, see yeah. where it takes us. Just, yeah, it's a big one, you know, this whole accepting thing, right? I mean, we're taught our whole lives that, we're not worthy literally that's what that's what the schooling system is for pretty much you know oh no you're not that worthy you're only worthy of being you know an accountant or a whatever a plumber that's all you are um you know so so yeah we don't, and, and and we see it all the time right we see you know you can see two you know plumbers say and um you know same age supposedly we're earning around the same money and that and 
one will, you know, have his house and his boat and he's always having fun and traveling around and the other one will be broke. And it's like, how does that work? And clearly it's just, it's just a yeah. mess because, I mean, that's one thing I had to sort of deal with, it, you know, when I started my channels is just literally, um, you know, all the, all the compliments and stuff you get, right? All these beautiful people out there, you know, sending you nice messages and, like even that, like it took me a few months, and then like I just said, well, I've just got to accept it, and, and I just you, know, you start saying thank you or whatever. Um, but even that, right? Even compliments. So you can imagine <laughs> how many blocks we've got to, you know, receiving, you know, the the, the treasure chest. But I mean, I'm I'm definitely working on that too at the moment, and I, it's annoying because I can see stuff happening, but it's just not happening fast enough. So I think I might have to focus on it a bit <laughs> more. Maybe you're gonna get. Maybe get, angry get, with you, get angry with your guys like I did. <laughs> it's actually me bursting out of my bubble. It really had nothing to do with my guides. It was me going, that's it. I'm just having mm, yeah. uh, I've had enough and of that, working that's a good for patterns. And yeah. I know that to be the leading example for the next wave that's coming, mm. you know, that is part of us learning to support ourselves so that we can show I mean in the end abundance has nothing to do with money although like money is how the system works yeah. but abundance has everything to do with not carrying nothing on your back and knowing that every moment that you need something it is presented to you it, you will always have what you need Mm. Where no matter how big, small, or anything, it's just an uh, absolute reflection of you supporting who you are mm. and stepping into that. That's yeah. what abundance, true abundance is. Yeah. Otherwise, you end up with bank balance, you know, blimmin insurance schemes and stuff because you're you're fearful. It comes from fear, and you're scared that something it's not you're not going to get enough. Um, in the future so you constantly trying to hoard and put it on your back it's, there's an actual Mayan calendar that has this character in the middle of the Mayan calendar I have it on my computer where he's carrying something that looks like a computer on his back wow. he's literally and he's hunched over he's carrying the system and uh, that is a picture on the um, Mayan calendar from a long time ago. We're talking well before computers came out. But if you look at it, it's a computer. It's got a keyboard, a little mouse and everything. Yeah. Wow. Well, there's some interesting <laughs> I could, I could, I could slot. I could find it, I think. I'm not sure if yeah, I can send share it to me and I'll find it in the video, yeah. Um, because there's a few yeah. there. There's, well, I think they're... Um, in oh gosh, where are they from Mesopotamia, maybe? Um, but people with tablets and things and, and laptops and all this weird stuff like back from four thousand years ago. So um yeah, it's just all a big you know, I think we're repeating, right? Um just on the anger bit, like it, there's this whole thing of you know, everything's gotta be peaceful, right? Um, you know, and, and I agree, you know, everything should be done with love and peace. But what what's your view on, you know? righteous anger shall we call it um you know like just you know because there's this sort of whole um you know um what's, i can't even think um this whole paradigm of which we were given right from all the gurus in the 90s and that you know oh you just got to sit there and just believe and oh you know all this stuff just be loving and sit on a cushion and everything but, it, but is that stepping into your power right is yeah. that stepping into your power i like if you saw a powerful being they would be so um really if you imagined somebody that came off a spaceship and they were a powerful being um that say a say a palladian person you look gentle and kind and all of that and loving just like you're talking about the spiritual world but if somebody came up to them they would know instantly to be able to put a a a, a, a fermentation a I don't know what they're trying to tell me here, but <laughs> I was going to say a, a word I've never heard of, a fermentation. Anyway, a uh, uh, bubble around them of protection. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, and so that anything that came would just bounce off them, but they would be standing in such so, such power within themselves. Now, um, anger and all of those emotions, they're absolutely part of humanity. And in certain certain moments uh, with assertive, assertive we need to be assertive. We need to be able to control those as well, though, right? So in that moment, in that very moment, I needed to be assertive and go no and and then 
straight after we need to be able to come back to who we uh, feel good about ourselves so it's like ice skating and learning to stop quicker so you could you still need to know how to stop um, when then, then you can go faster so you can explore your emotions as much as you like and you know that when something comes at you and you need to use that emotion to stop something, some energy coming towards you, you've got that power at, um, to be assertive for yourself. So there's still power within you to be assertive and, and say, absolutely, no way, you don't go any further. But yeah. instead of a reaction, it's more of a, uh, uh, that this is my reality. No, that's not part of who I am. And, and it does start to change as, as we progress um your emotions will start to shift anyway because it would just be a natural given but we need to be able to take um our power for who we are I think there's a story called the buffalo white woman in in USA she ends up um seeing two this is the story that I heard she came across two males that saw her and all her glamour and beauty and how gorgeous she was and one of them's drooling and he's just all sexual and blah, blah, blah. And she just feels into his energy and she just went like that. And his, his vibration, he, he went, went through his life, but in her vibration, he's dead. So he disappeared. He just literally went into, into dust. And so she's like, no, you, you're not existing in my vibration. <laughs> so what is that? Is that beautiful and gentle? I don't think so. That's, <laughs> that's You just don't exist in my vibration, mate, because <laughs> you're coming at me too lustfully and not respecting who I am. And then she got to talk to the other fellow. That's, that's the, um, the story yeah. that went there. So that's, there's a lot of power, you know, and we, we need to take that back too. Yeah, that's I part agree. of the lesson. I agree, and that's why, yeah, it's it's annoying. <laughs> I don't, I don't get angry. Also, also anything that that's, about. yeah, and anything that's outside of us that's coming at us that makes us fearful is, is literally us not supporting the the uh, power within us. Mm. The, we will never ever be reflected with anything outside of us that we don't hold that power that we thought they were within us in other words if you're feeling a victim to something you are not standing in the power of who you are to be in reflection to them you're li literally giving your power away to them so they can have it um, by being a victim but when you stand in your I mean we've seen little girls in that that just stand in their power when something's coming at them and then and I've seen videos of soldiers going to to hurt them and then they just stand in their power and then they they just can't they just can't it's just mm. this because they know who they are and their sovereign right of being existing here on earth too many humans have given away their power to an authority outside themselves because they forgot who they are from within themselves yeah i agree yeah and and all these things really i mean I look at them as, you know, that they're attacks, right? People coming in and trying to change your perspective and all this kind of stuff, um, you know. And with me, it's it's always, it, you know, I, I go from from um, you know very calm and and collected to what that you know you don't want to be around me in like half a second. If if someone, as soon as the whole topic of I need to listen to someone or I need to do something because someone told me, it's I can't even like. I'm getting better at it, but my whole life, I literally, I, I, and I'm just, as soon as I, anything about anyone having control over me, I just flip a switch and I'm just like, and, they, and they're like, ah, and, and I see their faces. It's always like they just, get, they just get, and they just leave. They just, because, I mean, that's, yeah, that to me is, is, is one of the strongest yeah. things that we've got. Um, and I, I see it as well as, you know, um, I don't take on a lot of karma. Um, I don't, you know, I don't have a lot of, you know, shadow work and all this kind of stuff because I just don't take it on. I do, I will not take on someone else's crap. And as soon as I feel they're starting to yeah. do that, it's bang. And it's like, and, and when that happens, they know never to bring that topic up again with me again, you know. My family are a bit slower, you know. They they don't get it so much. So yeah, they, because you've got a heart slower. connected to your family as yeah. well, and that makes that makes it mm. a bit more difficult. But, to totally I think get that's that. such a big. I, I did 
the same with my daughters. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I was, I was getting angry and upset because that's what I was trained to do by my, my family. Like, if you're an angry person, then we will listen to you. But I was a quiet little mouse, so we won't listen to you. So yeah. I started to to take on the responsibility of being to be heard, to be angry, and. Um, and I realized it was getting out of hand when I ended up at school with my children and our early whoops. <laughs> so, so I'm like, there's a problem here. You know how you get your kids <laughs> off to school. Come on, get your shoes on. Come on, we're gonna go. And then I get there an hour early and went, I got a problem. Oops. <laughs> um, so I went, I went back into myself. <laughs> so I went back into myself and I went, okay, how can I, how can I shift this? And I literally, it sounds a bit crazy, but I split myself into two fractions. I went, there's a red queen and there's a white queen. So the white queen will always come out in a peaceful manner and we're playing games and we're having fun and all that. But if if the kids push me, I'll warn them, the red queen's going to come out. <laughs> and that gave me a, a feeling of she's allowed to be present and I can still control that. Mm. So in that moment, she could come out no, you don't do that. You don't talk to me like that. You need to respect me. And then she go, and then I go back to the white queen straight away. And I don't have any like holding on to the yeah. story or anything like that either, which is what you know I've been brought up like my my parents are more likely to hold on to the story. Um, so uh yeah, so this is all about taking our power back. That that worked for me. Everyone's gonna be able to find their own way through how to take their power back, but that worked for me. Mm, yeah, I think boundaries are huge. Um, you know, you've got to tell people what the boundaries are or else they're just going to keep coming in and taking jabs and trying to get you connecting back to the 3D world. Um, so, yeah, I think I think we all need a, a bit of, you know, or we, we at least need to think or you know, we'll see, you know, a bit of, you know, righteous anger, not as a bad thing. You know? It's just, you know, I think it's fine. Um, you're allowed to be who you are. And, and the way I look at it is, you know, it's like you said, you, you always give people, you know, hints. You know, you might want to slow down. Don't go there. No, like, bang. <laughs> so it's these people are really causing it for themselves as far as I see it. Like they're coming up mm. trying to push you and, uh, and they're the ones missing something. And if you go get away, bang, well, that's that's for them to deal with as far as, my, as, far as I'm concerned because that comes under, you know, that's trying to do harm. That's trying to change someone's position yeah. trying to take power over them and that's the that's the law you do no harm so i have yeah that's mm -hmm. I, I think we all should be a bit more righteously angry um but the whole energy thing i used to when i was like in my i don't know sort of 17 18 i guess at 20 um when i used to go to parties and things and pubs and that i used to when i'd walk into walk in before then i'd, I'd pump my energy out and I'd, I'd try and make myself as big as i could and and the game was that when I walked in, I'd, I'd try and get as many people to notice I'd walked in, right? To look around and, and look at me without, like, you know, just by walking in, by not saying anything. And um, yeah, that's, I think that's a, a really, it's a, it was a good game and it just gets, it just makes you stand in your power. It starts, you know, you start to realize that you are bigger than you think, you are more powerful and it's your energy. You can walk in mm. and people will just turn around and they'll be, mm, and, and you just get respect and, no one talk, is going to try and talk bad to you because they see who you are. You know, it's, it's like, so you stop it before it begins. So, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm, I want us to do a video on how you do that. That's, that's really, that's really cool that you could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've done it. I've been in a pub once where I've just gone, I wonder what happens if I send all my love out to everybody. Yeah, that was probably not the best. <laughs> <laughs> you a lot of drunk men coming up, did you? Yeah, I, <laughs> I got drunk men, got drunk women, got drunk everyone. <laughs> Jeepers, it was a really, really busy night. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe, maybe or <laughs> in, in a pub again, <laughs> in a nightclub. But yeah, I did try it and I'm glad I did because I saw the I saw the response immediately when I just went. Okay, well, it was unconditional love. It wasn't sexual love, but because they're all drunk, right? Sexual love come back. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and that's I could handle it, so that was fine. But yeah, I realised it's not probably the best. No, no, you got to maybe pick your pick your um your venues where you're going to do it. Places, 
Yeah. yeah. You can do it with anything. Yeah. With, with Amongst all the power with with whatever you want, you know. Yeah. Like, try walking in a room and, and thinking you're the you're really smart and see if people come up and ask you questions, you know. Just play play with the, the matrix and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, have some fun with it. Yeah, yeah. intention. Your intention. Yeah. Mm, because once we sorry. No, yeah, no, you're <laughs> your in, your intention of who you are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And once you prove that to yourself that you can do it, then you understand you can pretty much do what you want, right? Um, but this is the thing. We, we kind of, we tend to sort of learn and go up and then we, you know, it's like go up four steps, go back three, go up four. You know, we sort of, we never go back down to where we started from, but, but you know, we sort of have these, you know, epiphanies and do all this stuff and then we have problems staying there, don't we? I'm just thinking. Yeah, about, uh, that's because we're, we're afraid of what that means. Like if we stay in that vibration, are we still accepted by the outside world because we haven't supported who we are fully to begin with before we stepped into it? So once we support who we are fully, then we step into it, then we'll notice not only we will step into it, other people will too, because it will be a natural progression that our reality, everyone in it starts raising their vibration too. Mm. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. That. Which is like the um the white white buffalo is that a name? You know, we can accept people in our into our reality too, right? And 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 that's what's happening now is all these sort of soul groups or soul family things are sort of forming. Everyone's sort of finding these random people that they didn't know existed, and um and forming all these groups <laughs> and starting to do things, right? Um, and and that again kind of proves the whole energy vibration. You know, it's the same thing, right? As walking into a room. It's like if you're in the state of, yep, this is happening, you know, the great awakening, you know, awesome, you know, I'm finding all my brothers and sisters, well, it just happens, right? They just they literally just come out of the ether. That's insane. Like, I, I didn't know any, like a year ago, I didn't really know any, you know, channels or clairvoyance or tarot readers or any of that kind of stuff. And now I just know so many. And, and it's just from people contacting me. It's bizarre. It's so, so, and I'm just taking that as it, well, that's obviously what I need to learn, right? So I'm sort of, um, you know, trying to yeah. follow, follow the message. You're in it and you're in the limelight. So you're like, hello, you know, that's given, gifted you. But no, but really, yeah, I know. That's, you, you took that, you did that. Yeah. Um, and it's gifted you, them to come to you as well, which is, fantastic it's like when you stood stood in the uh, same sort of energy as when you went walked into the pub mm. and you know puffed up the energy of everyone's gonna see notice me as a guy that you don't mess with yeah. <laughs> and yeah. yeah it's just weird how it works i mean i didn't i don't even i'd yeah i didn't have a plan to start you know youtube channels or anything i don't, I don't really know how i got here but yeah i just seem to what i've noticed is i don't know a bit like a, a bit like a light and, and everyone is kind of seeing me and contacting me it's really weird but i guess that's what what it's all about right I'm, i might just be the person who's the connector right just trying to get everyone connected up and i'm the one who happens to you know have a channel or whatever so everyone can see me and yeah it's, yeah it's interesting. that's like, brilliant yeah well, i never i got told to start spiral up i got, got like a message and it's like, what the hell? What do I do? Um, and, you know, here I am, right? What's this? Probably two years now, this channel. And I've just spoken to so many people that I would have just never known and all this stuff and the other channels. So it's, I think a big thing is, you know, just trust, right? If you, Even if it sounds crazy, if you've got a like a feeling or a thought or whatever, an intention to do something, just give it a go, you know? If it yeah. fails, you're at least going to learn and it, something. The energy, the energy is really conducive at the moment for people who are doing this sort of work now because there's going to be a wave of people wanting to find out more about that side of themselves that's been locked down for so long. Um, so we're here for that purpose, right? We're kind of somehow um, guided, put in the place of like, I, I was obviously in a relationship wasn't conducive for me being who I was. 
uh, meant to be. And so that just came down with a great big, you know, towel moment. And that sent me on a vibration of, well, who am I, you know, and now I've got to step into trusting my intuition 100% because I already get messages and stuff. Well, let's just go live. And like the beginning of last year, I just went, that's it. I'm going live. And so, and now all of a sudden I'm getting bigger interviews and yeah, so it's just anyone who's out there that's really feeling a pull to do something, don't, you know, especially if it's to do with creative endeavors, anything right, feminine brain is going to be supported so that it comes up in balance with the masculine side of ourselves as well. Mm. Yeah. And so I would say go for it because you will be supported now. Yeah, I agree. And, and, you know, don't focus on how you're going to do it, you know, which we've been taught to do, right? A lot of people are like, no, I want to buy land and start a community. Oh, but land's so expensive, I've got no money. But, and that, that's just how we've been taught to think that everything's external. But when you understand that wealth is wealth and it can come from anywhere, it's just, it's just energy, right? It's just the ether. Then, um, yeah, you, all you need to do is get started and believe. Um, and, and keep going. Um, one of my, my other sayings is, you know, it's like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it anyway. And, and I think that's where we've <laughs> got to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I did. I just went, well, I don't know what I'm doing, but I just do, like I was told to do my whole story from birth till now within the... Um, all the energy work and the spiritual connections and everything. So we did all of that. And if I look back at those videos now, I'm like, I'm like, wow, yeah, I was raw. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But, but but it was worth it. It got me, it got me out. Like if I say everything that's happened to me, which is very, very weird stuff. Like I've got a hundred story, thousands of stories, honestly, of very different stuff. Um then to look at that, if I get all that out, anything else from there is easy <laughs> yeah. because it was so out there. Um, you know, we're talking about beings coming and walking in my room and my windows exploding with angelic beings on and I wasn't even religious and giving me messages from, you know, extraterrestrials to, to Alvin people that were coming to visit me and, getting synchronicities in the real world of real things happening to go coincide, talking to an elder telepathically, we're talking about telekinetic stuff. Every, you know, it was just crazy and, um, and way outside the curb of what most people would experience. So I had to piece all that together on my own and then figure it out and put all the dots together that's why I've got to this point now where I totally 100% trust what I'm given. So now I can just, I haven't seen anything for the last, since I turned 50. Um, and I, and I think that's so that I can just channel this information through now, but um, you know, I, I would love to see something, but I don't think that that's it maybe in the maybe in the future it will all kick start again, but I'm not supposed to at the moment. While I'm on a training ground, I suppose for channeling and connecting to my soul, and not looking ex externally outside for visitations anymore, and and that side side of it. Mm. Um, but it's worked really well because now I've stepped into the limelight of this and and helping heaps more people understand themselves a little bit more because I've been through all of that stuff before and I found out how to get myself out of it. Even, even in the logical sense of work, like going into work, I didn't have any education of whatsoever. And yet I became a graphic artist just by throwing myself in the deep end and trusting my spirits and my guides. And um, like I literally walked off the street near pretty much anyway um, and said, I want to be a graphic artist. And these people were like, um, okay, do you know freehand and Photoshop programs? And I'd learned how to use a mouse. I, I knew nothing. And, <laughs> and here I am in this, this job. The first job I got was with an artist that had a big, huge ego, which actually went for me on my side because he saw that I knew nothing and went, 
cool, I'm still the top dog. So yeah. he he gave me, they gave me a job that had to do a circuit board with all the little transistors and everything on it. I had to draw that up on my computer, not knowing anything, right? I literally had the first day, I had a ruler up on the computer. <laughs> I knew nothing. And he's like, he saw that I knew nothing. So he flicked me a book and I read it in three days. I actually finished that job. And then three years later, I was fixing up all his mistakes. He was useless. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> so like, it's just the matter of <laughs> sometimes of throwing yourself in the deep end and then trusting that you will you will get through if you if your heart the most important thing is if your heart's in and you desire to know doesn't matter how far-fetched it is whether it's learning telepathy telekinesis and all those awesome wonderful juicy things connecting with different beings if you say to the universe you want to know and show me the next part next step just just throw yourself in the deep end and see where it goes you'll be probably very surprised Mm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, yeah, back to the trust again. You know, we've all got to, got to and, and, you know, um, we've got to start working with source, right? The, the, the inner world and, and all this stuff that we're told doesn't exist rather than the 3D world because we, we, we see what that does, right? If we're, if we're caught in there, we just go around in circles and end up giving people permission to control us, which is um, obviously where we're coming out of now. So, um, yeah, big changes, right? I mean, I, I was told when I was like 14, 15, you know, that I'd, there were going to be great, big, massive changes and I'd, I'd get to see them and all this kind of stuff. And and here we are, right? It only took 35 years, but, but we got there. Um, so yeah. what, do you, what do you see happening in the next um, couple of months? Do you see any, any ideas on that? Um, I feel that there's... Well, there was a wave that happened that came across humanity to help them step into their power from December through to March. And then after March, that I, I believe that the uh, light workers will really step up their play and start to come out in droves of um, teaching others how to connect to their intuitive, imaginative side of themselves. And the people are going to start getting curious about curious or about that and curiosity is what leads us into these next st stages um as for the other side of things um it depends on who you are you could feel like your reality is uh, exploring into this amazing juicy stuff or you could still be hanging on to um out of interest of what the old program is doing and and then be followed be caught you can caught caught it sorry be caught into that and then coming out and then caught into that and then coming out or you could be completely caught into that so mm. here we are it's more to do with a vibration of the actual person themselves more than what reality is reflecting because we can step into all sorts of different perceptions of reality depending on ourselves for, my, for me myself I'm just going to keep being doing what I'm doing and I'm slowly pulling back from sending notifications out of what's happening in that old world falling down. Um, I still do it every now and then if I get a pull to do it, but I only ever do it from a point of, I am fear, no, don't do it. If I, if I, am I um, pissed off? No, I don't do it. I don't touch it. But if I'm like, that's a bit of interesting information, I'm sure that people would want to know about that. And it's about them falling down, then I will put it up. Sometimes I put things up for a few days, and then I get a feeling of mm, doesn't feel right now, take it off. And, and if I and I trust that I just keep trusting my gut feelings on things, because I know that there's certain souls that are specifically here to bring that down. And it's not necessarily my job. Uh, we've all got specific roles, even as light workers. Some light workers are in the thick of it all of bringing it down. You know, matrix crackers like David Icke and people like that. People are stepping up in parliament. I remember doing a, a meditation once where I was feeling into parliament side of things. And I realized that I could wake up certain light workers that were in parliament so i imagine them waking up and then i started seeing them on news starting to come out of the woodwork and going we're not doing this anymore so like in my reality that's how it reflected back to me and everyone else has that ability to do that i'm i'm just a human just like everyone else i just learned how to use my imagination and my intuition 
everyone has exactly the same ability that I have to to do this work but we have to come from love right every step that we make otherwise we're creating more issues for ourselves Mm, yeah yeah just more blockages and karma and all that kind of stuff isn't it yes nice so now you have a channel obviously bobby the messenger um, so i'll leave the links below yeah, my the- youtube channel is YouTube. bobby dash the messenger <laughs> um and and my and my website is codes to a new reality.com um and i have a the new earth products so yeah I, I sell my books my dice and a bit of artwork on some tote bags but I'll probably expand that later on but mainly the intuitive counseling which you'll find on my website which is and you know ties to a new reality and then you click on intuitive counseling that's just exploded so uh if you feel you want to find out about your gifts or where you're going um yeah then i tap in tune in and then off i go whatever messages come through they come through for you so (laughs) so we'll leave all the links below so yeah if you want to um have a bit of a closer chat with bobby go down and jump onto the uh website and also the dice she mentioned you 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 basically invented a a product um yeah sort of although they're really difficult to yeah fortune dice but i'm doing them all handmade so i've like haven't been promoting them as much now because the intuitive counseling's taken over and that's okay. easier for me to and to help lift the vibration of everyone but uh yeah that does exist um and also i do free readings for people i haven't done them in the last couple of weeks because i had i was just in, infiltrated with readings so <laughs> and i know campbell sometimes visits yay um <laughs> But yeah, I do free readings. Uh, usually once a week, I'll try to do those. Um, uh, maybe a Wednesday, a Monday, Tuesday, uh, and then um, that's just general reading. And then whoever's online can get a, a couple of cards pulled for them. So it's a bit of fun, more than anything. But I like to gift people things as well. Keep mm. the energy flowing. Exactly right. If you want to receive, you don't have to. Focus on receiving, just focus on giving, right? Because the rule says it will come back seven to five. <laughs> so that's all, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. Like I said, we'll leave all the links below um, to all um, Bobby's website, uh, ch- uh, YouTube channel. So check that out. And if you want a, a card pulled, um, yeah, she, she does live sort of once a week. And, yeah, go and check it all out. And Thanks for spending some time with us, Bobby. It was a nice little chat there, uh, our first one-on-one. It was. Got like started. talking to an old friend. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's the best way. Like, none of we never organise anything. We just get on and have a chat and see what comes out. And it always seems to work out pretty well. So thank you for spending some time with us. Um, and, yeah, and uh, maybe we'll have another chat in the future sometime. That'd be great. Thanks so much. No worries. Thank you. All right. And uh, thank you, everyone who's watching. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you give us a like, a subscribe. Go across to Bobby's channel. Give her a subscribe. Share that all around. And I'll talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now. Gosh, I've got like fans blowing at me because our aircon <laughs> broke like 10 days ago and literally it's been 36 and over every day. And so if my hair's blowing around, it's because oh, no. <laughs> I'm doing the Hollywood thing. <laughs> You're doing the Hollywood <laughs> <Sweet. laughs> <Here in the window>. thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Love it.